Across units one to four in health and human development, students learn how important health and wellbeing is to themselves, their families, their communities, across Australia and in a global context. In unit one, students will investigate the multiple dimensions of health and wellbeing and consider these from individual perspectives, as well as that of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. In unit two, we move on to the other stages of the lifespan, so looking at developmental milestones that occur. We also investigate the role of Australia's health system. Some of the highlights of units one and two include the virtual baby experience, gym sessions, meditation and the primary school buddy program. In unit three the focus moves to Australia and we consider the health and well-being and also the health status of the Australian population and we consider variations in the population. In unit four the focus shifts to global societies and inequalities that exist. We explore health implications such as increased globalisation, climate change, digital technology and the mass movement of people across the world. Students have the opportunity to evaluate health and aid initiatives across the globe with a highlight being the Birthing Kit Assembly Day. Health and Human Development offers pathways for any student with an interest in health promotion, education, allied health, policy development or within the health profession. Outdoor and environmental science is a combination of practical experience and theory-based study that provides students with skills and knowledge to safely participate in a variety of outdoor environments and gain an understanding of human relationships with nature. It's suggested that for students electing to do this subject that they choose to do units 1 and 2 in year 10 and units 3 and 4 in year 11 so as to minimise time away from school on camps in year 12. Unit 1 investigates the way humans understand and relate to nature, motivations for interacting with outdoor environments and factors affecting their access to outdoor experiences. This is designed to help students live sustainably. The impact of nature on humans and the ecological, social and economic implications on outdoor environments is the focus of Unit 2. The focus of Unit 3 is the ecological, historical and social context of relationships between humans and environments in Australia. Unit 4 sees students explore sustainable use and management of outdoor environments, the contemporary state of environments in Australia, the importance of healthy environments and issues relating to them being able to support future needs are investigated. Each unit is supported by practical experiences with highlights including snorkelling at Pope's Eye, swimming with the seals, adventure caving, whitewater rafting, surfing, hiking at the Grampians, cross-country skiing and camping in the snow. Outdoor and environmental science provides a range of pathways where interaction with the outdoor environment is a central focus. Areas such as natural resource management, tourism, outdoor leading or guiding, environmental research or policy, education and agriculture. The study of physical education enables students to integrate theoretical understanding of performance and participation in physical activity with practical application. In Unit 1, students explore the relationships between the body systems and physical activity. Unit 2 sees students introduced to the ways physical activity and sedentary behaviour impacts their health, as well as different population groups, while critiquing health promotion strategies. In Unit 3, students learn about biomechanical and skill acquisition principles that are used to analyse movement skills. In Unit 4, students analyse movement skills from a physiological, psychological and socio-cultural perspective. They learn to apply training methods, work to rest ratios and more, then participate in a variety of training sessions and evaluate their effectiveness to improve or maintain fitness levels at an individual, club and elite level. As part of the subject, students will take part in testing in the biomechanics lab at ACU, design their own activity plan and participate in a five-week training program. This study prepares students for employment or further study in areas such as exercise and sports science, health science, education, recreation, coaching and health promotion. So for VET, Sport and Recreation, the certificate will provide students with the skills and knowledge to undertake further study to work in the sport and recreation industry. The senior program of the Sandringham Sports Academy involves years 10 to 12. The emphasis of the program will centre around VCE VET curriculum, optimising students' education with a balance of sport, school and life. 
Students who commence the Certificate 3 in Sport and Recreation in 2021 will complete the course in 2022. Subjects and practical topics covered in the first year include conducting non-instructional sport, fitness or recreation sessions, organising personal work priorities and development, gaining a first aid qualification, the use of social media tools for collaboration, providing customer service, responding to emergency situations and following work and safety policies. Highlights of the subject include visits to sport and recreation businesses that may include go-karting, trampolining, indoor climbing and fitness sessions. Students will have the ability to design the practical components based on the interest of the class.